Joffy in hell, there's a storm coming in. There's a revolution going on in rec rooms, offices, and classrooms around the world. A revolution in which 15 million people are taking part. They're sharing scientific data, arguing philosophy, or passing on cooking tips and gossip, night and day through a computer network called Internet. For about $200 a year, they log on to personal computers connected to phone lines and communicate across cultures and continents. Bill Cameron has this report on the growing phenomenon of Internet. Hello and welcome. Tonight I'll be explaining the invention of the internet and how it's impacted our lives. The internet was invented in 1968 but wasn't truly exploited until the 1990s when the world's first pornographic network was invented. Way back in the 1990s the internet gurus created the Porn Indexing and Syndication System or PIS as we call it today. This allows huge porn corporations to distribute their material over millions of websites instantly. The porn indexing and syndication system is layered upon the TCPIP protocol, which is specifically designed to transfer pornography in the most efficient way possible. The PIS network is an interconnected series of porn nodes so that even if an internet node was taken out by a nuclear explosion, the pornographic network is connected to two or more porn nodes and so is clever enough to root around and continue to deliver porn to wherever it's needed. This level of redundancy is needed as back in the 1990s the town of Winchester was cut off from the pornographic network for more than eight hours there's no need to remind you of the devastation that caused. With the increase in demand for porn, video porn on demand services were set up. These huge servers were being built at a rate of two porn data centers per week. Each porn data center has six redundant power supplies and a diesel generator to ensure the supply of porn is never interrupted and we don't have to witness another Winchester disaster. As for the future of porn delivery systems, there's certainly a bright future. IBM, Microsoft and Apple are working towards the new PIS 2.0 system, which will not only avoid catastrophes like Winchester, but will also deliver porn to more households than ever before. And not just 2D porn, but full holographic interactive 3D porn where participants will be able to actually take part in the porn. Titles that are currently under development include Lawrence of Herlabia, Buffy the Vampire Lair and Sex Toy Story. So over the years we've seen the pornographic indexing and syndication system evolve from a simple transfer of porn to an integrated interactive fail-safe pornographic data transfer system. I think the exchange of pornography is safe for many years to come and it's all thanks to the boffins who created the first pornographic exchange system way back in the 1990s. <laughs>